Rule 1. Let yourself be alone is the first chapter of Jay Shetty's book 8 Rules of Love, How to Find It, Keep It, and Let It Go. In this chapter, Shetty talks about the importance of being comfortable with oneself and spending time alone. Shetty starts by pointing out that society often portrays being alone as a negative thing, associating it with loneliness and isolation. However, he argues that being alone can be a positive and empowering experience if one approaches it in the right way. He explains that being alone allows us to reflect on ourselves and our lives, to understand our needs and desires, and to find peace and happiness within ourselves. Shetty then presents some practical tips on how to be alone in a productive way. He advises readers to create a space for themselves where they can disconnect from the outside world and focus on their inner selves. This could be a physical space like a room or a park, or a mental space where one can simply close their eyes and tune out distractions. Shetty also recommends engaging in activities that promote self-reflection, such as journaling, meditation, or creative expression. These activities can help one gain insight into their thoughts and emotions, identify areas of their life that need improvement, and set goals for a personal growth. Furthermore, Shetty emphasizes the importance of disconnecting from technology and social media during alone time. He argues that constant connectivity can prevent us from being present in the moment and connecting with ourselves. By unplugging and focusing on our own thoughts and experiences, we can cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness and self-love. Throughout the chapter, Shetty shares personal anecdotes and quotes from spiritual leaders and philosophers to illustrate his points. He also encourages readers to embrace the journey of self-discovery and self-improvement, acknowledging that it can be challenging but ultimately rewarding. In conclusion, Rule 1, Let Yourself Be Alone is a chapter that highlights the importance of taking time for oneself and learning to be comfortable with solitude. Shetty's advice on creating a space for self-reflection, engaging in meaningful activities, and disconnecting from technology can help readers cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness and appreciation for their own company. Rule 2, Don't Ignore Your Karma is the second chapter of Jay Shetty's book 8 Rules of Love, How to Find It, Keep It, and Let It Go. In this chapter, Shetty discusses the concept of karma and how it can impact our relationships. Shetty starts by defining karma as the idea that our actions have consequences both in this life and in future lives if one believes in reincarnation. He emphasizes that karma is not about punishment or reward but rather about learning and growth. Shetty then explores how karma can impact our relationships, both positively and negatively. He explains that when we act with kindness and compassion towards others, we generate positive karma that can lead to more positive experiences in our relationships. On the other hand, when we act with negativity and harm towards others, we generate negative karma that can lead to more negative experiences. Shetty also acknowledges that karma is not always immediate or obvious, and that the consequences of our actions may not be seen for some time. However, he stresses that it is important to be aware of our actions and their potential consequences, as they can impact our relationships in the long term. To help readers understand how to cultivate positive karma in their relationships, Shetty presents several practical tips. He suggests that we should focus on our intentions and motivations when interacting with others, ensuring that we are acting with kindness and compassion. He also recommends practicing forgiveness and letting go of grudges, as holding on to negative emotions can generate negative karma. Furthermore, Shetty highlights the importance of taking responsibility for our actions and making amends when we have caused harm. He suggests that we should approach conflicts in our relationships with an open mind and a willingness to listen and learn from others. Throughout the chapter, Shetty draws on examples from his own life and from spiritual texts to illustrate his points. He also emphasizes that the concept of karma is not tied to any specific religion or belief system but rather is a universal principle that can be applied to all aspects of life. In conclusion, Rule 2, Don't Ignore Your Karma is a chapter that highlights the importance of being mindful of our actions and their consequences in our relationships. Shetty's advice on cultivating positive intentions, practicing forgiveness, taking responsibility for our actions, and approaching conflicts with openness and willingness to learn can help readers generate positive karma and build more fulfilling relationships. 
Rule 3. Define love before you think it, feel it, or say it is the third chapter of Jay Shetty's book 8 Rules of Love, How to Find It, Keep It, and Let It Go. In this chapter, Shetty emphasizes the importance of understanding and defining what love means to us before we enter into romantic relationships. Shetty begins by acknowledging that love is a complex and multifaceted emotion that can mean different things to different people. He emphasizes that love is not just a feeling but also a choice and an action, and that it involves both giving and receiving. Shetty then presents several questions that readers can use to help define what love means to them. These questions include, what are the values and qualities that are most important to me in a relationship? How do I want to feel when I am in a relationship? What are my deal breakers or non-negotiables in a relationship? How do I want to show love and be shown love by my partner? By answering these questions, Shetty argues, we can gain a clearer understanding of what love means to us and what we are looking for in a partner. Shetty also emphasizes the importance of communication in defining love. He suggests that we should have open and honest conversations with our partners about our expectations, needs, and desires in a relationship. This can help ensure that both partners are on the same page and can work towards building a fulfilling and healthy relationship. Furthermore, Shetty acknowledges that our understanding of love can evolve and change over time, and that it is important to be open to growth and learning in our relationships. He encourages readers to approach love with a mindset of curiosity and exploration, and to be willing to adapt and grow as they learn more about themselves and their partners. Throughout the chapter, Shetty draws on examples from his own life and from spiritual texts to illustrate his points. He emphasizes that defining love is a personal and individual process, and that there is no one-size-fits-all definition of love. In conclusion, Rule 3, Define Love Before You Think It, Feel It, or Say It is a chapter that highlights the importance of understanding and defining what love means to us before entering into romantic relationships. Shetty's advice on asking ourselves key questions having open communication with our partners, and approaching love with a mindset of growth and learning can help readers build more fulfilling and healthy relationships. Rule 4. Your Partner is Your Guru is the fourth chapter of Jay Shetty's book 8 Rules of Love, How to Find It, Keep It, and Let It Go. In this chapter, Shetty challenges readers to see their partners as teachers who can help them grow and learn in their relationships. Shetty starts by explaining the concept of a guru which in Indian culture is a spiritual teacher or guide who helps their students grow and develop. He emphasizes that a guru is not necessarily a religious figure, but rather anyone who can help us learn and grow in our lives. Shetty then applies this concept to romantic relationships, arguing that our partners can serve as our gurus in the journey of personal growth and development. He suggests that we should approach our relationships with a mindset of curiosity and a willingness to learn from our partners. Furthermore. Shetty emphasizes the importance of listening to our partners and being open to their feedback and guidance. He argues that our partners can often see things about ourselves that we may not be aware of, and that their feedback can help us grow and improve as individuals. Shetty also addresses the challenge of conflict in relationships, arguing that these moments can be opportunities for growth and learning. He suggests that we should approach conflicts with openness and a willingness to learn from our partners rather than with defensiveness or aggression. Throughout the chapter, Shetty draws on examples from his own life and from spiritual texts to illustrate his points. He emphasizes that seeing our partners as gurus can help us cultivate a deeper sense of love and connection in our relationships. In conclusion, Rule 4, Your Partner is Your Guru is a chapter that challenges readers to see their partners as teachers who can help them grow and learn in their relationships. Shetty's advice on approaching relationships with a mindset of curiosity, listening to our partners, and being open to feedback and growth can help readers build more fulfilling and meaningful relationships.